All right, today's video is a quick tutorial on how to replace the power steering pump o-rings on your inlet and outlet lines this is a 2007 acura mdx this applies to um, multiple models and years it's a really easy job um, well, first off i'm going to talk about what causes your power steering pump to moan there's two main uh, things that cause it either the inlet and outlet lines on your power steering pump seals have dried up and allows air to get in or your your reservoir has a leak in it or the hose that goes to your reservoir um, can dry up and get a leak in it as well. If you get air in your power steering pump, you'll notice that the fluid looks frothy when the engine is running. That's because there's a whole bunch of little microscopic or micro bubbles in there. So it's one way to tell. Um, this job takes just two tools, a 10 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter wrench. You're going to want to take off the, the cover by removing the caps, which are these right here. They'll either pull off with your finger or if you can't get them off, stick a little blade underneath there and, and pop that off. Underneath here will be two 10 millimeter bolts. Take those off. And then here is the power steering pump. Um, this line has two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on. And this one that's underneath here will have a 10 millimeter bolt underneath. It's kind of hard to get to, but if you take a wrench, you can come in through the side here and pull that off. Now, these are two different sizes of O-rings. The ones you get from either the dealer or uh, in the case of me, I found these on Amazon for like five bucks, I think. You'll have two different uh, color ones, two different sizes. The orange or reddish one is gonna be the smaller one that goes on here, and the black one will be the one that goes on here. When you pull this out, you'll see that there is the O-ring sitting on here. If it's not in here, make sure to look inside here. It might be stuck, just pull that out. Um, this one should slip off pretty easily, but they, they do uh, sit in some, well, I guess this one just will pull straight off. This other one sits in a recess. Um, so when you're pulling that out, if you can't get it out with your fingernail or something and you decide to use a tool, be very careful that you don't scratch this surface uh, or underneath this seal because it'll have a hard time sealing if you do so. So uh, before you put the seal on, make sure to coat it up with a little bit of uh, oil, the same type of oil that, uh, you know, power steering pump oil that you use on your fingers or something, uh, or get on your fingers, just put that on the seal. And then the installation is the same as the reverse, just tighten everything back up. I will try to find the torque specifications and uh, along with the part numbers for this, I'll leave that in the video description below. Um, when you're done with this, make sure to bleed your system to get all the air out. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps some people out. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good day.